So let's do some some nice string functions and execute some string methods on on some variables or one variable. Let's choose x. X equals George. George Bull. I'll put him in lowercase on purpose. What is the length of x? Six characters. G E O R G E. Six characters. Is uh, tell me about that x. Is x alpha data? Yes, true. It is. X. Tell me about x. Is it decimal? False. Is. Tell me about that x. Is it a digit? False again. Uh, let's take a look at that, George. Oh, tell me about x. Is it in lower case? True, it is in lower case. So, if I asked you if it is in upper case, I should get a false. And I do get a false. X, I would like, to, I'd like to take X and swap the case completely. So X is all lowercase now. So when I hit enter, I should see George, all of it, in uppercase. And I do. Now, the last thing that just got printed out was George. And that's all in uppercase. Let's see if we can do this. Underscore, the last thing that got printed out, dot swap case. I should see all lowercase now. Oh, and I do. Now, did that affect what's in X? No, it did not, because I did not assign it back to X. For example, X dot title. Let's run X dot title on this. And I get George, uppercase first letter. Hmm. But X is still lowercase George because I didn't overwrite X. I just displayed George with an uppercase first letter. But I didn't overwrite the original data. So what would X be if it were uppercase? Total speculation now. George is still lowercase. Well, that's what it would look like. And we also said that X was a title. Will give us a first letter uppercase. Now, what if I now took X, which is lowercase, and I took X and I assigned it X dot upper. Now what's going to happen? X should be in uppercase now. What would title X dot title show me? Uh, lowercase George with an uppercase first character. And if I assign that to X, X would now be equal to that. And that's it for now. This is George Bull. If you liked the video, please rate it. I'd appreciate that. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.